sometimes it, it really does feel like we need a revolution when we think about the challenges we face today. Debt crises, political stalemates, energy, the environment, the food we're feeding our families. But I don't think we should be discouraged. And today I'm going to talk about the story of Bright Farms, but I also want this to be an example. An example for us as leaders, as activists, and as citizens. An example for how we can think about how some of our generation's greatest problems, greatest challenges, can be converted into some of our greatest business opportunities. I want to start by looking back a little bit. I want you to raise your hand if you were working in the food industry five years ago. Wow, a lot, more than half. We're going to need that experience. Five years ago, I wasn't. Five years ago, I was running a business that improved the supply chains of big retailers and their suppliers. I had a singular goal, which was to maximize the efficiencies of systems that brought goods to stores. And let me tell you, I am programmed to live, breathe, and yes, eat efficiency. I have a license plate that reads efficient. <laughs> it's true, I do. <clears throat> when I followed my passion and came into the food industry and dug into the produce supply chain, I encountered a system that was at odds with, it, at odds with itself. Our produce supply chain is incredibly efficient and inefficient all at the same time. First, here's how it's efficient. It produces huge quantities of food at low prices. And here's how it's inefficient. Our fresh produce holds up to travel great, but it can't uphold taste at all. In fact, we grow produce for travel and not for eating. The system breeds foodborne illness, and it's killing our environment. Our fresh produce supply chain is industrialized and centralized to the point that it's an enormous consumer of land, of water, of crude oil, and natural gas. The more I learned, the more I came to realize that for all the good intentions to feed the world, parts of our food supply chain aren't merely inefficient, they're toxic. If TED is about inspiration, well, I was inspired. I was inspired to rethink the produce supply chain. I was more than inspired. I was compelled.